Hello guys, in this video we're gonna learn how to create this nice logo. So let's start from here. In the layers you would find there is one layer and it's a circle. So right click on it and rasterize layer and Ctrl J to duplicate it. And let's name this one front because there's three sections, front, middle and back. So hold Ctrl and press on the box of front, you would get a selection. And press on the layer and get the bucket tool and paint it a bright color just for now. And now let's get the pen tool and zoom out and let's create the S shape. This looks fine, right click, make selection, okay, and cut it away from front layer and create another shape. And right click on it, make selection, okay, and cut it also from front layer. And now let's make another layer and name it middle. And in the middle layer, click on it and get the pen tool again and zoom in and let's create some shapes. Right click, make selection, OK, and make sure you select the middle layer and color it with a bit darker color. And place it underneath front. And this looks fine. So now create another layer and let's name it middle 2. In middle 2, let's create another shape with a pen tool. This looks fine. Right click, make selection, OK, and with the bucket tool, color it with the same color. OK, so now let's create another layer and name it back. And let's place it behind the middle and get the pen tool and press here and here and draw the back layer. Right click, make selection, OK, and let's color it black because it's the one behind. Get the bucket tool and color. Okay, so now we're done with this. So create a new layer and let's name it shadow. And let's place it behind back or even behind ball and get the circle tool and create a shadow here with a black color and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, rasterize and give it some blur and press Ctrl T to scale and transform and make it a bit smaller and this looks fine. Now let's start coloring. So go to front layer and right click and blending options and add a gradient overlay. So make sure the darkness is on the right and you can add more. Make sure it's three colors as well. Move this to the right so it appears more from here. This looks fine and make sure it's linear. So let's add another blending options for middle two and put a gradient overlay, you can see here, and maybe move this slightly there so it matches the one on top. This looks fine. So now add a blending options to middle, right click, blending options, and gradient overlay, and change the angle here so the darkness can come from this side and move this slightly and this looks fine okay and now press on back and right click and blending options and this time add a gradient overlay but move the black to the left and remove this one and put the pink on the right and maybe press on the pink and make it a darker pink okay and move the black slightly to the right. You can see here, adding more darkness. Okay, okay. And now go to the ball layer, Control T to scale and transform and hold Alt and make it a bit smaller and place it on top of back layer. So now it appears like it's inside the S. Then right click, blending options and let's add some colors to the ball. 
gradient overlay and make sure the color on the right is 0E1519 and the left one is F6EBDD okay okay and then you can move it slightly the light area this way and the scale increase it slightly this way and press OK and this is fine so now let's create another layer and name it shadow okay and get the pen tool and draw a shadow here right click make selection okay and with the bucket tool paint it black and place it underneath the middle and decrease the opacity till about 40 this looks fine and now get the pen tool again and draw another one here this looks fine right click make selection okay and bucket tool painted black and with the same opacity and we're done here so now this looks fine and now let's add some more light so in the front layer which is this one we can actually duplicate it and then we can get the pen tool and draw a shape right click make selection okay and cut and now you would have only this part and now we can go to the effects and go to the gradient overlay and make everything lighter so remove the black and maybe add another pink and put it here and put it dark okay and this one make it a bit lighter and this one make it a bit lighter and okay we're done okay so now add another layer and let's put a text and put Sam with an apostrophe and then hold out to get a two cursors and drag and copy and remove the M and the apostrophe and with the S remaining S go to edit transform flip horizontal and place it here and press ctrl T to scale and transform and make it a bit bigger and get the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this and give it a stroke and remove the fill and the stroke increase it just slightly okay and now we have to merge sams so go to the layers and as you have to rasterize type and rasterize type for sams and now merge both of them merge down okay and now you can just hold alt and just drag the effects on sam from front copy and do it again from front copy to rectangle and we're done